I'm Mark Vrablik, and this is my 6101 final project. It is an analog color organ. So what is a color organ? Well, back in like the 1970s, there was this huge fad that emerged among consumers of attaching music systems to lights um, and just sort of displaying all of these effects on them. Uh, since then, they've gone out of style a bit, and they've been replaced by larger industrial systems that are all controlled by computers and everything. Um, so I took a small trip back in time to design one entirely in analog. But in order to keep it modern, um, I did attach an Arduino to it in a to enable digital effects, such as the one that it's currently displaying now. Um, however, I have like a switch that you can adjust to change it to go to an entirely analog mode where the Arduino could be unplugged and it wouldn't matter. Uh, so let's look at the modules. So here is where my circuit takes in audio, um, just 3.5 millimeter audio, and um, it has one for input and one for output. It then takes this audio, combines the left and the right channels using this op amp, where it feeds it through a series of bandpass filters. These bandpass filters then have adjustable amplification, where they are then rectified, smoothed by capacitors, and then compared to a sawtooth waveform using a bunch of LM311s. Uh, this signal is then fed out to the LED strips through these chips here, which uh, are essentially a 15-pole double-throw switch, uh, enabling me to switch between the digital Ar Arduino input or the analog input from the audio. And as you can hear, I have no audio playing right now, so they are off. Um, the sawtooth waveform to use the comparators is being generated by a circuit using a 555 timer and a current source. Uh, and then, finally, a lot of the components on here require a negative voltage, so I'm using a charge pump down here to generate a negative 8 volt rail. Yeah. So over here is an Arduino, which interfaces with this chip, which is a TLC5940, and that enables me to get more than the built-in, like, 5 PWM outputs. And so this gives me 16 of them, of which I'm using 15 for the 5, um, five strips of three channels R, G, and B each. Uh, these LEDs here display the opposite of uh, whatever signal is going to the LEDs because this is a current sink. 